Seminary, and that uh, we've had requests of many bishops to come and help us, and they have chosen not to do so. So I must first begin by announcing with great gratitude to Bishop Neil Webster, who, for the sake of the love of souls only, and for the salvation of souls, and the greater good of the church, agreed to the request, a uh, great serious request, of Father Pangras that he consecrate myself to the, to the uh, Holy Episcopacy for the sake of the salvation of souls. Recognizing in our great crisis of the church that we don't accept the, all the same uh, teachings, we don't accept the teaching of this, uh, the teaching of, the, of, uh, of uh, the bishop on the one baptism or the teaching on the state of Vicantism, and that we are in a great crisis in the church and that we recognize the holy teaching of our church. There's only one church outside of which there's no possibility of salvation. We belong to this holy church, and the whole world needs it. And we hold the the, the, the doctrine of the baptisms as taught by the Council of Trent, and we, we hold the doctrine of the course of the holy papacy of Pope Francis. And uh, Bishop Webster still agreed to consecrate, knowing these differences because of the salvation of souls, and very greatly. Grateful to the uh, love of souls administered, uh, shown by Bishop Webster, and that uh, we'll pray for the remainder of my days and for him in each of the masses that we celebrate from now until I die. Also, we recognize that it is we are here for the church. We are here for the church. We are here for the salvation of souls. We are here to see that go out and teach every nation to baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost. And that there, there is necessary that the whole world receive the sacraments of our Holy Church. The whole world receives the faith. The whole world receives our Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other answer. And that it is not enough to say that I believe the Holy Faith. We must spread that Holy Faith. My Father Hannafin, our old pastor, used to say here, in this little chapel, which has been here since 1973, one of the early chapels of tradition, don't keep the faith, spread it. As Catholics, we are required to spread the faith, and that we are here to spread the faith. One of the great tragedies of the last uh, 50, the 20 years especially, and the 50 years since Vatican II in general, and then 20 years in, in, since and, and, and the battlefield of tradition, and then the majority of traditional Catholics who are holding the Holy Roman Catholic faith are satisfied to hold it themselves. We are made a man, a priest, a man think of amongst men, ordained to those things that appertain to God. And it is our duty to bring our holy faith to every soul. There is no possibility of going to heaven. There is no possibility of happiness. There is no possibility of peace in inside of this world without the Holy Roman Catholic faith inside of every heart. And it is the duty of the priest of God, and especially of the bishop, to spread this faith everywhere. And also remember that we protect our holy church, we fight for our holy church. And also it has been so many years now, we know we had a long ceremony today, longer actually than even usual, because we had many ordinations. These, many of these ordinations would have happened over a period of years. And that because our, our young men have been here without the knowledge that they were going to have a bishop, without the certitude, confidence only in the Blessed Virgin Mary. And many, many blockages and many, many attempts to shut down our seminary has happened. We put our seminary in the hands of our Blessed Virgin Mary, the seminary in the hands of Our Lady, and that uh, we have complete confidence in her, and that we make sure that all things are done according to the way of our Holy Mother of the Church, even going so far as the bishop uh, and, and after repeating the essential parts of the ceremony afterwards, so that so that we uh, have the the, the, the the repetition of the of the, the, the matter and form of the sacrament to make sure that all things are well. That we are here in a great battle of the church, and we must spread the holy faith and spread the true sacraments with that faith. 
we cannot simply just have a, a faith, but we must spread this faith with all our hearts. And so in any case, we you know, uh, thank God for the grace of being able to be allowed to continue in the seminary. And we would thank God also for Father Hennepin, the founder of this chapel here, who uh, when he founded it, he used to say that he knew that he would die. He knew that he would not be able to go on forever. And he knew that the only way in which the faith would be continued is by the priesthood and the continuation of priests. And therefore he saw to it that young men were able to go to the seminary and that there must be seminaries for the propagation of the true faith. And this seminary is uh, by the grace of God propagating that true holy faith. And we pray for many vocations. We pray for many souls to come and join us in this battle. And now we must recognize that we have now entered into a phase of persecution of the church. We are now in a phase of persecution of the church. And that it is now becoming more and more illegal every day to be a Catholic. Becoming more and more illegal to know, love, and serve God. Becoming more and more illegal to pray to Him and to worship him. And therefore it is more necessary to send priests out into the battlefield to visit house to house and to bring the faith to every soul. And that is the purpose of the seminary. Because the church is not is one, holy, catholic, and apostolic. And we, pray, and we pray for this apostolic nature of the church to continue until the ending of times. In any case, we know that it's a very late, a very long uh, ceremony. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are overwhelmed because of the, we waited so long to be able to get these graces of ordination upon our young men. And I'd also like to say I'm grateful for their perseverance uh, through many years of challenges and difficulties. And we also know that there are many attacks of the enemy that will always continue so long as we hold the holy faith. But we want to bring Christ to souls and souls to Christ. The priest is a man taken amongst men to those things that appertain to God. And we are working to those things that appertain to God to bring the true and holy faith to every place on earth. And the only answer to every trouble in the world is our holy faith. There is no other answer. And so pray to God that they send laborers into the harvest. And also thank God for the priests and for the faithful and for those that have assisted us over the, all these years to make it able to continue the work of the studying for the priesthood. And also we must say that now that God has allowed us to be able to have a bishop, and even though we know that we are not worthy for such a thing, God has allowed us to be able to have a bishop. But in a certain way, it was a very beautiful phase these last seven years. I have a seminary for seven years in which we were mocked and despised by so many because we had not a bishop and not a means to continue the priesthood. So we have confidence in Our Lady that Our Lady will make sure that this is possible. And in the present, she's made sure that it is possible, and we pray that it will continue unto the future. But remember that the holy sacraments, they are beautiful, as beautiful as they are. The seminarians have waited so long to be able to receive their tonsure, waited so long to be able to be ordained a porter, an elector, an exozacolite, subdeacon, and deacon, taken vows, even without being able to receive these sacraments. These sacraments are most beautiful. But remember, these sacraments, if they are ever without the faith, as much blessings as they bring upon us when we carry the faith with these sacraments, so much curses shall they bring upon us if we ever carry these sacraments without the faith. We love the holy priesthood. We love all the holy sacraments. We, we thank God for these holy sacraments of which we are not worthy to receive. But remember that these sacraments must be carried with the holy faith. And let us ask the grace of God that we persevere in this holy faith and also have a special gratitude to the bishop that made it possible for the Catholic sacraments and Catholic faith to continue at the end of the 20th century, fighting for it throughout the whole world more than any other, and that is the father of our priesthood and the father of our society of St. Pius X, Archbishop Marcel de Febvre. And we're very grateful for his priesthood, for his episcopacy, that he was simply a bishop who carried the faith. And we must all, each of us, be souls that carry the faith, usque ad martem, martem autem crucis. And also it may happen, by the grace of God, we pray that some of us here, those of this seminary, will really be the, the servants of Our Lady, for it prophesied by St. Louis de Montfort that there must be apostles of Jesus and Mary. Our Lord Jesus, Saint, our Jesus of the Feb called our society. The popular title is the Society of St. Pius X. But we are the apostles of Jesus and Mary. And that we want to be the apostles of Jesus and the apostles of Mary prophesied 
by St. Louis the Montfort, for the apostles of the end times, to carry our Lord in his holy name, and to carry his holy mother into houses, into businesses, into the streets, into all places where Christ is, needs to be increased, and to all places where Christ is not. We must bring Christ wherever he is not, and increase him wherever he is. We are here only to carry Christ. We must be the apostles of Jesus and Mary. So I ask the grace to be able to remain faithful, apostles of Jesus and Mary, which is not possible without the prayers of the faithful, not possible without the love of the Blessed Sacrament, not possible without the love of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the love of the Holy Rosary that preserves us. So in any case, we, we, uh, we have our young men to be able to be priests of God who will be faithful through the Holy Faith. We believe these truths and all the truths Holy Mother Church teaches because thou, God, hast revealed them who canst neither deceive nor be deceived. And this is the foundation of our apostolic work. It is the foundation of our teaching in the seminary, and let it be the foundation of all things that we do. So in any case, God bless you all, and, uh, and please pray for us at the seminary. Please pray for the priests. Please pray for the, 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 the seminarians, and also for, the, for myself, and for all those that have helped us over the years, each and every one, and that, uh, that we persevere in the holy faith, without which it's impossible to please God, and there's no, no reason to be alive without our holy faith. So let's thank God for that faith, and keep it deep in our hearts, and never let it pass from us. So thank you all then, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.